Welcome to PLP. This video covers the installation of PLP's VariGrip Gen 2. The VariGrip kit includes a U-bolt, housing, wedges, spacer bar, retaining rods, hex nuts, anti-tamper nut with a set screw, and lock washer. Tools needed for this installation include wrench, tensioning device, Chicago grip, screwdriver, and electrical tape. Step one, start with a pre-tensioned guy strand with the hoist attached high enough to permit installation of the retaining rods. Step two, insert the U-bolt through the anchor or suitable fitting. Installation of adjustable sizes may require removal and replacement of the spacer bar and associated hex nuts. Note, when installing VariGrip dead ends to a pin type fitting, refer to SP3641 for recommended diameters of the pin. Step three, place the housing on the U-bolt at the desired location with the larger end of the tapered bore facing the fitting. Mark the strand at the lower end of the housing. Move the housing up along the guy strand out of the way of where the retaining rods will be installed. And cut the strand at least two inches beyond the mark. Step four, now attach both wedges on the strand with a single wrap of tape near the mark at least two inches from the end of the strand. The larger end of the wedges should face the anchor. Step five, install the retaining rods by placing the straight end of the rods color-coded end in the notches of the wedges, with at least an eighth of an inch extended beyond the wedge. Wrap the subset on the strand completely and repeat with the other subsets. Rod installation can be made easier by splitting the rod ends, as shown. All rods should be placed into a groove on the wedge. A screwdriver can be used to equalize the gap between the wedge halves. Depending on the size of the varigrip, some notches may not be filled. This is acceptable. Step six, slide the housing over the wedge and rods and onto the U-bolt until it's firmly seated over the wedge. Step seven, secure the nuts and washers onto the U-bolt Tighten hex nuts equally so the housing is square on the U-bolt. Step eight, after final tensioning, secure the anti-tamper nut by tightening the set screw. Step nine, tighten the hex nut below the housing until the lock washer is flat. If retensioning is required, reverse and repeat steps seven, eight, and nine. To aid in disassembly, strike the bottom of the housing with a hammer until the wedge is unseated. Please refer to the application procedure for detailed installation guidelines and acceptable pin diameters for use with fairy grips. All safety guidelines set forth in the appropriate application procedure for this product must be reviewed and followed prior to installing this product. The installation shown is intended to illustrate the application method of the product only. It is not intended to supersede any company construction or safety standards or the use of required protective equipment.